Hello and welcome back to some more Bitburners. So this is the final video about the give me more money script and hopefully I didn't lose you guys on the previous episodes. Um, but if you did get lost or have any questions, uh, feel free to leave a comment down below and I'll make sure to answer them whenever I have time. Um, so in the last video, I covered how the fleets were constructed. Um, and then I guess we're, what we're going to do, be doing to the, in today's video is um, we're going to be using the, that fleets object to launch the attacks to the target node server. Um, so if we click on this guy here, the launch attack, it's very, very simple. Uh, basically, we just go through every single fleet that um, we just created and then we extract the action that our ships will be executing. Um, and then uh, here we grab the virus script, so get virus from action. And uh, this function basically just returns the the pirate script associated to that action. So for example, if the action is weaken, we return weaken pirate.js. If the actions grow, we return grow pirate.js and whatnot. So that's the, basically just the, the virus name. Um, and then we go through every single ship within our fleet so all the servers and then if the ship threads is less than one for any reason um, because sometimes it still does that uh, we, we just want to skip that uh, but if um, I guess there's some more threads uh, there's at least one thread then we um, basically just run the execution uh, so for this PID um, in the previous version of the launch fleet script we what we actually did for the PID is that we ran this um, exit command um, in a while loop and then the PID is uh, basically just incremented over and over again uh, but what what was weak about that implementation is that it occasionally gets stuck in a an infinite loop um, for some reason I don't understand why but it gets stuck in an infinite loop which causes your game to freeze whenever you run the launch fleet script. So I address this uh, this bug by just retrieving the Unix timestamp as the PID. And the reason why the PID is very important is because whenever you execute scripts in this game, uh, every, if you have uh, the arguments uh, counts as, uh, I guess, as part of the, the script execution. So if you have, um, I guess, two, uh, two script executions that's running the same script with the same arguments, um, if you have different PIDs, then it counts as two separate entities. So after executing the attack, then we just log that ship action. So we just um, basically works the same way as um, the original launch fleets. We just uh, retrieve the variant based on the action and then we log it out onto our terminal and then after executing all the attacks then that's when we recalculate the ships so we then uh, check whether or not all our ships still has a uh, RAM to support the virus and the reason why this works is because um, the original ship objects within the original ships array was modified during the create fleets. Uh, we then just want to get rid of the ships that's already been fully allocated. And then when we go to the next loop, we then just have a new batch of ships that um, hasn't been allocated yet. Um, and then after going through the targets or going through all our ships, then we just um, wait for a second. So yeah, so that's about it. That's the entire "Give me more money" script, uh, which is kind of kind of overwhelming. Um, so in uh, the next few days or next few weeks, uh, what I'm probably gonna be doing is I'm just gonna, I guess, addressing some of your bugs if there's any. Uh, whenever you ran this, uh, hopefully there's not too much, um, and then hopefully. Uh, by the time that we're, I'm recording the next video, um, I'm going to be transitioning to a new bit node. So I'll see you guys in the next one.